a question. Why is it that some people have such a hard time admitting that they don't know? What's up with that? Hmm. I have a book about it. Ta-da! This is called, I don't know, and I'm really excited to read it to you. All right. You've likely heard tales of many fierce and foul creatures. No doubt you've listened to stories about slimy puddle monsters, lint balls with sharp teeth, and plates of gloopy overcooked vegetables that get bigger after every bite. Strange? Yes. Cool? Yes. Friendly and useful? Not so much. No matter. This book isn't about those creatures. This book is about something much more interesting and important. This book is about a creature that is truly wonderful, truly charming, truly helpful, and nearer than you might think. This book is about, I don't know. You've probably heard the name I don't know before. If you're clever, you probably say it from time to time or even all the time. But maybe you don't know everything about I don't know. No biggie. There's no time like the present, right? The more you know about I don't know, the more you'll love them. And the more you love I don't know, the better your life will be. Yeah, that's how interesting and important I don't know is. So now, without further flustered fussiness, here's everything you need to know about I don't know. First of all, you should know that everyone, and I mean everyone, has an I don't know. They come in all shapes and sizes. Some are noisy and some are quiet. Some are silly and some are serious. Some are buzzy and fidgety and some prefer to sit and watch the world go by. All I don't knows are cool and wonderful and you should, nay, you must be proud of yours. Whether you notice them or not, your I don't know is always around. They do creep out of sight now and then, but they're always somewhere nearby. You may have times when you think I don't know has scooted off for good, especially as you grow older. And then when you're thinking really hard about something, poof, there they are again. Someone might ask you a really big question or you might have to make an important decision and then bazawi, they reappear in all their spectacular, I don't know, glory. Very important. I don't know's love to eat. They're really hungry, but they're also surprisingly picky. Donuts and pizza and apple juice won't cut it with an I don't know. I don't know is eat big questions. And that's something most pe people, especially younger-ish ones, have in great supply. You don't have to worry about running out or cleaning up crumbs or sticky handprints after feeding them. Your I don't know will catch and eat big questions as fast as you can think them up. That's handy. I don't knows also love attention. No, scratch that, they demand attention. One might say they're clingy little stinkers. When, uh, when noticed, an I don't know will light up like a little disco ball. An I don't know who is ignored gets all pouty and weird. They'll resort to stuff like jumping out of dark corners, flicking the back of your ear, chewing on the end of your shoelace, or making embarrassing noises in public. Yeah, don't ignore an I don't know, unless you've got nothing important to do for the rest of the day. Good advice. No big surprise, I don't know's adore company and not just your company. I don't know's come up with the most spectacular ideas when they're in a group. Take them out to meet other people and their I don't know's. Seek out other people who love their I don't know's as much as you love yours and observe the awesomeness that happens. Many an epic chat has started with an I don't know. So what's in it for you if you follow all of this advice? 
Well, good people, a healthy, happy, well cared for, I don't know, has the uncanny ability to take their human on amazing adventures. In the company of this stupendous little critter, you'll get to learn about new people, explore new places, try new things, and yes, even le learn very cool things about yourself. I don't know, as our natural born tour guides and explorers in the wild, you can hear them uttering their adventure cry, let me think about this. Your I don't know will help you to be more curious, to find big ideas in unexpected places and to grow that amazing mind of yours. You might wonder, knowing all about the major coolness that I don't know's bring, why on earth would anyone ever not want to have one of these fascinating specimens around? What about this magnificent wee beastie could possibly creep someone out? Why would anyone ever feel ashamed of or embarrassed by their I don't know? It's not like I don't know is fling boogers. They don't smell like rotten cabbage toots or disguise themselves as piles of dirty socks. They don't hide under the bed and trip you when you get up in the middle of the night. You know, when you get up to pee in the middle of the night. Seriously, what's the deal here? Ah, <sighs> sigh. Well, if we're honest, some people, mostly of the older-ish variety, have just forgotten that I don't know is there. And when I don't know shows up, they get a little startled. They try to explain I don't know away so they won't look goofy for not knowing who was there all along. Some other people, again, the older-ish variety, just don't like I don't know. They don't greet their I don't know with, hey, bud, nice to see you again. They don't feed I don't know or give them love or take them out for walks to meet other I don't knows. <sighs> Instead, they think that I don't know is there to tell them that they have no great ideas, that the magic pockets in their mind are empty. They worry that I don't know will make them look silly and that other older-ish people will make fun of them and tell them they're too much like a younger-ish person. Hmm. Total nonsense. The greatest secret of an I don't know, and it's a secret that a lot of older-ish people have forgotten, is that the smartest people who ever lived, even older-ish ones, who said clever things, invented new stuff, and understood the world around them were chummy with their I don't know. They knew, like a whole lot of younger-ish people do, that I don't know helped them to be curious and creative, to learn and to grow. They totally got that their I don't know helped them to meet new people, discover new things, and explore new places. When they got stuck, a little time with I don't know was enough to give them a boost. You probably know all this already, though. Younger people, younger-ish people often do. Hey, I think your I don't know is calling you and prob you probably don't want to keep them waiting. Maybe they're sitting beside you, reading over your shoulder about themselves. Hmm. <laughs> and smiling their sweet I don't know smile. Maybe your I don't know knows that they're loved and appreciated and that, that you, their younger-ish human, is an absolute rock star for taking good care of them, for taking such good care of them. Do us a favor, will you? Give them a high five and a hug for us and give yourself one too. And if you're wondering what fantastic thing will happen next with this little friend of yours, well, I don't know. Hope you liked it and don't be afraid to say, I don't know. Because this guy will, you know, make some noise. <laughs>